Hi and welcome, my name is Jørgen Larsen and today I will go through how to well, how to use plan ahead uh, to uh, just uh, synthesize your project and uh, launch the impact and burn it into your FPGA I'm using uh, plan ahead here instead of uh, ICE project uh, since plan ahead is a bit more coherent so so to speak so it, it, it integrates things more nicely when we are moving on into um, doing constraints on our design and also it makes the gap between uh, lot the gap when switching from uh, the ice project uh, framework onto the Rubato framework easier so in one of my previous videos I showed you how to start up plan ahead and create an empty project in plan ahead so I have now plan ahead running and I have imported a, a small project um, so if we double click here on the design one of the design sources you can see here that it's a fairly basic uh, design I have a number of outputs I have one input which is a clock input uh, and then I have a counter well, I have a signal here, and down here I'm using uh, the clock to run a counter and then put the bus on these LED outputs. So what this design basically does is to blink some outputs with different frequencies based on which um, bit from this vector I'm putting onto the pin. So that's it. So it's just a blinking application, mostly used for testing the outputs on the PDA. Um, to make all this work, we naturally also have the constraint files, the constraint file here, um, the UCF file, and as you can see, it contains uh, all the LED outputs uh, and the clock setup uh, of the chip. So that's basically it. So when we want to uh, to have this first synthesized and implemented, and then creating a Gorilla formed into a bit file, we can go through the steps individually. So firstly, we can run synthesis, then running implementation, and then generate bitstream. So it's easier actually just if if you don't want to do any specifics on these steps, and you know that it's working, you can just create create bitstream. Um, if you just want to do a synthesis, well, you can click here and the synthesis will be running. And I want to do a rerun in this case. Yep. When the synthesis is finished, you get this window with the option to continue on running the implementation. So that's the next step. You can open your design or review uh, reports. I'll check that I'm just going to open my synthesis design and in general I don't want to see this window again so I click OK and it will, will open the design uh, for me. So now it has opened the design um, and as you can see it's a fairly simple implementation it actually doesn't show anything but that's all because that I'm only using uh, one uh, vector for a, a counter and then it's basically just outputting it to the to the output pin of the chip so it's fairly uninteresting so we will just be closing this again uh, and since I, I want to move on with my uh, my implementation to have it on the chip I'll just be running uh, the implementation down here so run implementation so now it's done with the implementation and I can move on to generate bitstream. With the bitstream generated, we're now uh, finished with the well implementation of our design into a, a file that can be uploaded to our FPDA or burned into our FPDA. So we are, we'll be running the, the impact design tool Um, and when it opened up, 
it will look like this. It knows the chip. Um, it wants me to save the impact project file. I don't want to do this uh, in this case, but it's fine for you to do it. Um, but as I said, it has found the chip. It has assigned the uh, the bit file, which is in this case is called blinking lets that bit. Um, so now it's a matter of right clicking on this chip. Um, and since I'm using an a Spartan Free AN chip, I have both the possibility to <clears throat> program the flash and load the program on the FPDA, or only to program the FPDA. In this case, I'm choosing to program FPDA only. Um, and that's it. Now my FPDA is running my little uh, piece of hardware, blinking my LEDs. So. This were a quick tour in how to use Planner here to run an entire project in, how to uh, go from the project uh, file, um, the VHDL file here describing the functionality of your hardware, and all the way through uh, implementing the design and to upload it onto the, uh, onto the FPGA. So thank you for listening in. Bye bye.